Hello, and welcome to the video on the very basics of graphing inequalities. In this video, we're going to start off with some very simple inequalities, but just to remind you of how to graph uh, equations, what if we were to start with something like x equals 4? So here's a blank number line. You don't have to put 0 in the middle. You can put 0 anywhere you want. For example, I could put 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4. It really doesn't matter as long as we are in the neighborhood of what we're interested in. Here, x equals 4 means we're going to put a solid dot at 4. Okay, that just simply means the point x equals 4. The inequalities that we're going to deal with are mostly greater than and less than. But what if the inequality we were dealing with actually said x is not equal to 4? In this case, we're not going to have a solid circle at 4. We're actually going to have an open circle at 4. So let's change this equal sign to an x is not equal to 4. x is not equal to 4. And then we're going to actually have an open circle at 4. And then we're going to shade to the left and to the right. Shade to the left and shade to the right. So essentially we're going to be shading all parts of the number line except the number 4. x is not equal to 4. Now let's try some more basic inequalities that you're going to see in your work. How about we graph x is greater than or equal to 2? Well, notice that there's an equal to sign. So let's make our number line. Let's put 0 here. 1, 2. You can even have other tick marks if you like, and you can label them. It doesn't really matter. Because there's an equal sign that x is greater than or equal to 2, we are going to have a closed circle at 2 because x can equal 2, but the inequality says x is greater than or equal to 2, which means we are going to be shading to the right. X, we want all the values of x that are greater than or equal to 2. So 2 is filled in, and all the points to the right are filled in as well. How about we have something that's less than? Say x is less than 4. Again, let's draw our number line. Let's have 0 here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, there's no equal to sign here. It just says x is less than 4. So since 4 is not included, we're going to actually have an open circle at 4. And then we're going to shade to the left. So we're going to shade all the values to the left. And make sure that you're actually shading an arrow at the end, because this does go to negative infinity. So again, x is less than 4, have an open circle at 4, and shade all values to the left. In other words, all values where x is actually, in fact, less than 4. The next one is going to be looking a little bit different because the variable is not going to be on the left. For example, what if we were to have 6 is greater than x? Now, when the other ones we did, the other one we did, x is greater than or equal to 2, some people think that that greater than or equal to sign means shade to the left, but this is actually not, not true. Just because the, the inequality symbol looks like an arrowhead does not mean shade to the right necessarily. What you really want to do is rewrite this so that the variable is on the left. x, and then we're going to have the number 6. Now, don't make the mistake of just writing x is greater than 6 because you've actually switched things around. What you want to do is think about what the relationship here is. It says 6 is greater than x. In other words, the open side of the inequality symbol is pointing towards the 6. The pointy side of the inequality symbol is pointing towards the x. That means x has got to be the smaller value and 6 has got to be the larger value. You want to maintain that relationship when you switch it around. So I'm actually going to use a less than symbol here. x is less than 6. The pointy side is pointing towards the x. The wide value is pointing towards the 6. So we're actually going to graph this. So let's do some tick marks. Now, you actually don't have to have 0 at all. You can have 3, 4, 5, 6. You can label your number line however you like. You want to put a 7 in there. What we're going to do is we're going to highlight 6. Now, again, we're going to have an open circle at 6 because there's no equal to sign here. And this says x is less than. 6, which means we're actually going to be shading to the left. 
So shade that to the left, and then don't forget to shade your arrowhead. The next one we're going to try, we're going to actually have to solve. This one will say x plus 5 is greater than 7. And be careful that your number 7 doesn't look like a greater than sign, or that your greater than sign doesn't look like a number 7. We actually have to solve this. And to solve for x, we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. So I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. And what do I get over here on the left? I get x. The greater than sign does not change. And 7 minus 5 is 2. So the inequality I need to graph is x is greater than 2. Again, let's make our number line. Let's be creative. Let's have a negative 1 here. Negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And this says x is greater than 2. Let's actually put a few more points in here. x is greater than 2. We're going to have an open circle at 2 because there is no equal to sign here. And then we're going to shade to the right. Shade to the right, and don't forget to include your shaded arrowhead because this does go to positive infinity. The next thing we're going to do will involve division. We have 2x is greater than or equal to negative 8. Now, when we solve for x, we're really going to have to divide both sides by 2. So let's divide the left side by 2, divide the right side by 2, and we get x is greater than or equal to, now negative 8 divided by 2 is a negative 4. This is what we're going to be graphing. x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Let's draw our number line. Maybe negative 5 here, negative 4, negative 3. Again, you can really, you have a lot of flexibility with how you draw your number line. So I'm just going to include the points negative 5 to 0. And this says x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Well, I'm going to go to negative 4. I'm going to do a solid circle because there is an equal to sign there. And then it says x is greater than, which means bigger than negative 4, greater than or equal to. So I'm actually going to shade to the right. Starting at the solid filled in circle, I'm going to shade to the right and I'm going to shade a arrowhead. The last one we're going to do is going to involve division by a negative. This one will say negative x is less than 3. And this one's kind of tricky, so in another video you're going to have to learn the ins and outs of dividing by negatives or at least solving inequalities. The focus of this video is actually just on graphing inequalities. But if you see negative x is less than 3, we're going to have to divide this by a negative 1. And remember in your inequality rules, when you are dividing by a negative or multiplying by a negative, you have to reverse the inequality symbol. So negative x divided by negative 1 is x. 3 divided by negative 1 is negative 3. And this used to say less than, where I'm going to make it say is greater than. So we're actually going to be graphing x is greater than negative 3. So let's plot some uh, points here. Negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, and say negative 1. There is no equal to sign here, so I'm just going to put a hollow circle at negative 3. And it says x is greater than, which means shade to the right. So we're going to shade to the right of negative 3. We're going to have a shaded in arrowheads. So that's pretty much the very basics. Again, in another video you can learn about solving inequalities.